Do you wanna revolt against the system but you're on a budget? Do you live in a small industrial city that's just a shallow grave of itself? Do you need to sing about the life of a communist during the late night open mic bars? Can you steal your dad's acoustic guitar? Then folk punk is for you! We might get some hate for this. Oh well. Nazi punks, fuck off! Let's make folk punk you and me! Don't forget to live your life in misery! Folk punk, as the name suggests, is punk play with acoustic instruments. It takes the raw, energetic, anarchistic punk rock and mixes it with folk music. The genre was started by Patrick Fitzgerald, who probably couldn't afford an electric guitar. Then in the 80s, Violent Femmes became the first mainstream fusion of folk and punk. Other notable bands to help inspire the genre are bands like The Velvet Underground and The Pogues. Then in the 90s, the record label Planet X Record was created, and they published most of the well-known artists in the genre, like a JJ and Against Me. Now you can find plenty of folk punk on mainstream sites and self-publishing sites that no one listens to but me. But thanks to modern technology, every team with a budget lower than their self-esteem can buy a used guitar and sing about their repressed feelings. Now most people will say that folk punk is just a modern 60s hippie movement, where you had a bunch of long hair freeloaders playing acoustic music, singing about how war is bad and that life is great when you're not part of the system. Well, that's actually not that far from the truth, but you're not here for an actual interesting history in music. You're here to make your acoustic guitar hate capitalism. So let's get to it! What do you need when you're playing folk punk? Keep watching and you will soon find out. What you need is simple, an acoustic guitar and some shouty vocals. You can spice it up by adding ukulele, banjo, accordion, percussion, washing board, or washtub bass. Yes, washtub bass is real and I really want one. If you're just gonna play acoustic guitar, then you can add a capo or a slider to expand your playstyle and add some variety. You could also use electric instruments, but chances are your local punk show doesn't even have a power outlet. Also, using electricity feeds the system you're fighting against. So do you wanna be a true anarchist or what? First things first, learn the four chords and the major minor scale. Learning anything else more useful is optional. Seriously, you're only gonna need like three or four chord patterns to write a folk punk song. It's that simple. Most folk punk musicians use one of these three chord progressions. Then just play around with speed, tempo, and how long you're gonna play each chord and you're done. No seriously, a lot of folk punk bands use these chords, including my favorites. As you can hear, most folk punk songs sounds like a standard campfire song, but punkified a bit. Feel free to add a lead riff that has the same weight as all the depth you have accumulated. Fuck. Now that you know how the music will sound, let's see how you and your album should look. You can either dress like a typical punk, or a farmer who fell into a tattoo shop while blasting dead Kennedys and Dropkick Murphys at the same time. Now for band names. Take your first name and add something extra. The formula is name noun or name the noun. Album cover. Make it look like a weird, creepy, off-putting drawing or one of those weird photos you can find on Reddit. Alternatively, try to find some old photos from your past and realize all the mistakes you made and how life would have been different if you didn't get fat and thought wearing Homestuck sunglasses was actually cool. Many folk punk musicians are singers and songwriters, so the lyrics will be top priority here. Ah, fuck you, poet! I'm not even into poetry! You could sing about your favorite hobbies and pastimes, like smoking, drinking, video games, the occult, revolt against fascism, or D&D. Folk punk also like to write songs about folk punk, sort of meta punk. Most of these topics are either given a fun spin for a party playlist, or you can take the topic and give it a darker feel. For example, listen to Misanthropic Drunken Loner by Days and Days, and Coffee Garden Cigarettes by Mischief Brew. The songs are also entry-level folk punk, and I really like them. But speaking of the occult, there's a subgenre of folk punk called Murder Folk, a subgenre from Dark Folk and Southern Gothic. 
Murder Folk focuses more on darker topics like murder, alcoholism, depression, etc. You know, the fun stuff. Maybe I'll do an episode on that in the future, if you guys are interested. Anyway, here's a folk punk fun fact. On Last FM, there's a joke genre called They Mention Cigarette, which I like to think is a stamp of approval in the folk punk internet community. As for political views, folk punk tends to lean in on the left and anarchism. They're also part of and strongly support anti-fascism and LGBTQ+. Now, you're probably wondering, are there any right-wing folk punk? <laughs> ah, silly right-wingers. Punk is about having good opinions. Let's record some folk punk right now. I hope Harley Poe won't sue me after this. Please. One advice to live by is, if it ain't cheap, it ain't punk. Planet X Records. So the best thing about folk punk is that you don't need any advanced recording equipment. So you can just throw away that fancy song card you have. Yeah, fuck you, technology. Now you can record all your masterpieces with the modern tape recorder. The phone. So just plunk it on the table, adjust the gain and start playing. Why? For you fancy computer owners, here's what you do. Set the project BPM to somewhere around your typical punk tempo. Remember, there's no too fast. Record with a cheap but good microphone. Pick up your guitar and play with all the weight of your wasted teenage years. <laughs> when recording, keep some of the less distracting mistakes. When recording vocals, don't use copy-paste. Every take must be unique. Now record your other instruments, percussion, or harmonies if you need it. Add some basic room reverb to round it up. But don't add too much, folk punk likes it dry at times. Mixing? Well, if you like that sort of thing, there's easy mix for everything. And that's how you record a folk punk song! Now go outside and find a really depressing place to film a music video. Cigarette, I light a broken match I drink a moldy coffee and I know I'm not a catch Kids today with cameras, they're fighting for the crown From what I see, I'm the only one true punk in town I live in a hole out of town You might be obscure, I'm underground Dead beat punk songs for rebel deeds I avoid my family by any means They are well conservatives I'm on the left, and that's as we say as full pub can get. Politicians lie to get a profitable war. Promise to stop poverty with a racist and a poor. They hide all their problems even more. Cause they all are rotten to the core Cause they all are rotten to the core hey! Let me punk songs for rebel deeds I avoid the cops by any means They are all conservatives, I'm on the left And that's as we say, as full punk can get Where to go I know that people will get angry 
that's what the bastard skips for making Debbie punk songs for adult teens. I am a boy the bullets by any means. One day the song may be viewed as a treason. Perhaps it's all a cliche for a reason. Congratulations! You're now a disillusioned teenager who nobody takes seriously, even though they probably should. Now be sure to sell out as soon as you get a hit, or die homeless and starving. Wait, shouldn't people have the rights to basic necessities? What? And besides, society is favoring white men who work, so isn't this just systematic racism and sexism? Uh, shut up, teenager! We're, We're dull! The end! Heavy as a meatsable!